Oh my goodness, you guys. I am so freaking excited to film today's video because we're going to talk about single shadows today. Um, if you guys have been keeping up with my channel over the past year or so, I've started to do like custom curated singles palettes based around the seasons. I did one for spring. I did one for summer. I can link those down below if you guys want to check those out. But I have to admit, I've been excited all year long about the fall one. Fall makeup is just, it's like my makeup happy place. I love the green, I love the orange, I love the red, I love the berry. It just, it makes me happy inside. And so I've really looked forward to creating these custom single palettes so, so much. I decided to keep all these palettes on the smaller size. They're all 12 pan and I feel like that's like my sweet spot for curated singles palettes. I've done bigger ones before, but I feel like I just don't enjoy them quite as much. But in today's video, I'm gonna share all three color stories that I created within these palettes, along with swatches and details about kind of why I chose the shade names and kind of the themes behind them. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy indie makeup and shopping your stash, definitely consider subscribing and hang out. It's what I make a lot of my videos on. And without further ado, let's hop into this one. I don't need to talk anymore. All right, so I definitely picked the wrong like custom palette to showcase in this video because like the shininess, oh, I guess it's not that bad. I thought it was gonna be really bad. Like that wasn't gonna be able to pick up these colors. But this is my first little color story, you guys. I'm so excited. This one is actually going to be part of a collaboration that I'm doing and that should be up before this video goes up um, with my friend Jess over on Instagram. Um, I will link that post down below that I do with this, but we decided to team up and create um, a fall palette. And I actually chose the theme of like, an apple orchard she was like what's an apple orchard because apparently that's not i don't know if that's not a thing in germany where she lives or like she's just never maybe it's called something else there but going to the apple orchard is such a huge part of fall for me i love going to get cider going to get cider donuts dragging around that gigantic bag of apples that i inevitably fill up too much it holds a really special place in my heart and it's something i really really look forward to doing every single year with my family and my friends um and so i was like i gotta make a palette on it so this is the little color story that I made. We've got some really rich greens, some nice warm tones. I didn't have a lot of like straight up red shadows, which is why there's not more red in here, but there's like kind of that pink, oh, that's not where it is. Oh yeah, it is. There's that kind of like pinky tone. It's like orange from where I'm looking right here. Um, there's this beautiful like warm rust tone right there. And then I threw in some browns for like the tree trunk. <laughs> um, anyways, and the greens for the apples, of course. So. Let's hop in to this little color story. All right, you guys, so the first two shadows I'm gonna swatch is Sydney Grace Sea Breeze and Sydney Grace Red Start. Sea Breeze is a beautiful, like, pastel -y green shade. Oh no, you guys aren't gonna be able to see that. Um, it's very, very light. Um, and then Red Start is a beautiful matte, warm, orangey deliciousness. I actually have it blended through my crease today, but I feel like I kind of over blended it because I don't know if you can really see it, but it's up there. Next up, we have Sydney Grace Be the Sunshine and Cleona Wildfire. Be the Sunshine is like a beautiful metallic golden olivey green shade. It's it's stunning. It reminded me of like a green apple. Um, and then Wildfire is a gorgeous metallic orange. It's so sparkly, you guys. It's it's just a really really gorgeous shadow. And I think I threw that one in here because it reminded me of like the leaves changing when you go to the apple orchard. I mean, not on the apple trees, but like all the other trees, they're getting a little orangey. Okay, moving on to the second route, we have Sydney Grace Coral Reef. And I think this was called Green Anjou. I feel like I'm saying that wrong. How beautiful are these tones? Okay, Coral Reef is a beautiful metallic, like fiery coral shade. And then green and Jew is a gorgeous like Granny Smith green matte. Oh, that is a that's a bad swatch. I'll have some better swatches up on my Instagram. Then we have Sydney Grace Gulf Coast and Tangy Citrus. Gulf Coast is a beautiful, super warm brown. And then Tangy Citrus is a like it's like kind of an off white, but it's like lightly green. It's so pretty. It's what I have in my inner corners today and a little bit on my lid. It is my favorite inner corner shade when I'm doing any kind of green eye look. I apologize. I know these swatches are a little terrible, um, but I will put up some pictures of like the full swatches, like my Instagram pictures that are nice and clean at the end of these palettes. Okay, next up we have Terra Moon's Sundays, which is a stunning multi-chrome. It's red in the viewfinder. 
it looks green right here when I can see it. I don't know if you guys can see it. It flips to like a golden shade. It's gorgeous. Um, and then we have from Sydney Grace the shade Sweet Sap, which is a beautiful metallic, kind of like a like a money green. So here is oh wait, this is Sundays. I think I called this Harvest. This is Sundays. And then Sweet Sap. Then the final two shades in here are Kiwi Fruit from Sydney Grace and Sickness from Davina. Kiwi Fruit is a beautiful like matte deep olive green and Cygnus is a gorgeous pinky coppery reddish duochrome shadow it's it's just absolutely stunning you guys I will insert those better Instagram swatches right here so you guys can get a little bit of a better look at the shadows I do just love kind of coming on camera and talking through the color stories with you because I have so much fun putting them together all right you guys color story number two is one that has been highly requested on my channel and that is a Good Sport dupe. So if you guys are not familiar with Good Sport, it's a palette that ColourPop came out with two years ago, three years ago for fall. And everyone lost their minds over it because it was the most freaking gorgeous palette like I think they've ever created. I feel like that was like the gold standard of ColourPop color stories. And now I just feel like they're really thoughtless and I'm not really interested in any of them. But unfortunately, they recently discontinued it. I really thought that when they discontinued it, they're going to be like, hey, just kidding, we're coming out with a new and improved version in like a month or two. But they have not yet, and ColourPop and I are still on a break, so I wouldn't be purchasing it even if they did. So instead, I decided to create my own little alternative. Um, this is just kind of a mix of single shadows, I think. I was going to say all these are from Sydney Grace, but they're not. That's a different palette. Um, but here's the little dupe that I came up with. It's a little bit different than good sport just a little bit um i changed some of the textures and i added some duochromes in there which i thought would be a fun little twist but i'm really excited about my little dupe so let's hop into this one the first shadow we have in here is cleona honeycomb which is this beautiful super sparkly metallic golden shade so stunning um and then next we have sydney grace harvest which is a beautiful super reddish brown matte shade gorgeous shadow I'm gonna do full swatches with this palette. I feel like I should have done that with the last one. Look at how beautiful that is. I mean, it's beautiful. And then Harvest right here. Again, a very messy swatch, but I'll fix it, don't worry. Then we have the shade Bonfire from Terra Moons, which is again, kind of one of those pinky to like copper duochrome shades. It's so stunning. One of my favorite duochromes in my collection. Um, and then we have ColourPop 143, which is a very vibrant matte purple. This one is super, super similar to the purple that is actually in the Good Sport palette. I can't guarantee that this single is even available from ColourPop anymore because I bought it years ago. But it's a very similar shade. Alright, next up we have Terra Moon's Isle, which is one of their... Cos? No, this isn't a Cosmic Chameleon. What is this shadow called? It's one of their chameleon shadows, but not like the iridescent chameleons. This is such a beautiful, beautiful inner corner shade that's not like a champagne shade. It's got some yellow to it, but it's very reflective and very light. Um, and then we also have Dirt Road from Sydney Grace, which is a beautiful kind of warm, light matte shade. It's a beautiful transition shade. So here is Io, and then Dirt Road. Oh crap, I'm gonna run out of room on my arm. <laughs> Next up we have Sydney Grace Keep Smiling, which is a beautiful deep matte brown. And then we have Lethal Cosmetics Recluse, which is a gorgeous like yellowy greeny matte. It's absolutely freaking stunning. Here's Keep Smiling, and then Recluse. You guys, I am so excited to create some looks with this palette. I've really, like, free fallen in love with Good Sport lately since I kind of busted out the fall makeup. And I created this look. I'll pop a picture right here for my Instagram. Ooh, I just scratched my face. Um, but I created this look a couple of weeks ago, actually, by the time you're probably seeing this video. And I just, like, totally fell in love with it. It's just, like, so rich and beautiful. And I just love how those tones pair together so, so much. Alright you guys, final row, we're starting out with Terra Moon's Callisto, which is again one of their chameleon shadows, some kind of, pastel chameleons, that's what they're called. This is such a unique green, you guys. As you can tell, it's super, super metallic. It's got like 
almost a blue undertone. It's such a cool shade. One of my favorites in my collection. Um, and then we have Sydney Grace Key Lime, which is a beautiful deep matte kind of like forest green. So here's Callisto. See how beautiful is that? If you're a green lover and you're placing a moon with terror. <laughs> you're placing a moon with terra moons if you're placing an order with terra moons um i would really recommend this shadow and then key lime Whew. all right you guys the final two shadows i included are hot spice cider from terra moons which is one of those beautiful like green to terracotta shifting shadows it's one of my favorite duochromes again um and then we have sydney grace unpredictable which is like a pretty soft plummy shade so we have Hot Spice Cider and Unpredictable. Oh, this palette just makes my heart happy, you guys. Again, I will put those nicer swatches right here so you guys can get a little bit of a better look at these shadows. But I am so, so excited about this color story. Again, like I said, Good Sport is one of my all-time favorites and... I was just so excited to reinvent it with my singles. I would love to do maybe like a Good Sport, ooh, I almost dropped Good Sport, um, a Good Sport extended version of the palette. If you guys would be interested in seeing that, definitely let me know in the comments and I can either put that in a video or over my Instagram. All right, you guys, this last one is for those of you who, when you think of fall, you don't necessarily think of like warm neutrals, you think more cool tones, but this is the color story that I came up with and you're probably gonna look at this and be like, Sydney. <laughs> It's not a fall palette and it's not a traditional fall palette but I've been really really inspired by the sunsets that I've been seeing lately where I live and like these are the tones that I'm seeing and they're just like so breathtakingly beautiful and like you know what I'm just gonna do it it's not quite fall but not everyone loves those classic grungy or like warm neutral tones so I'm gonna throw this one in here just because it makes me happy and it'll make someone else happy too so let's hop into the swatches of this one all right you guys first up we've got lethal cosmetic surge which is this gorgeous gorgeous periwinkle i am a sucker for periwinkle eyeshadows i don't know why but i have like this weird obsession with them then we have tara moon's starry eyes which is again a pastel chameleon this one's a very soft shadow it's more like a topper it's like a pink with a green reflect so there is surge and here is starry eyes Ooh, do you see that little green reflect right there isn't that pretty such a fun shadow Next we have Terry Moon's Snow Globe, which is one of my favorite shadows from them. I feel like it's one that doesn't get enough love. It's like a it's like a white shade, but it's more of a topperish white shade. It's got a lot of really pretty like glitters in it, like pink, purple, blue glitters. Gorgeous. Um, and then we have M Cosmetics Wildflower, E-M-M-E -E Cosmetics. Um, and this is beautiful, like cool toned, vibrant purple tone. Stunning again. So here is did I say powdered sugar? No, this is Snow Globe. There's another one they have in their line called Powdered Sugar that looks similar in the pan. Um, and Wildflower. Mm. I'm so excited. Moving on to the second row, we have Divina Runce, which is oh, such a beautiful shade. It's like a purple, light purple with like a bluey golden reflect gorgeous gorgeous shadow um and then we have sydney grace laughter which is a beautiful kind of like light topu shade i would say so here's runts and here is laughter laughter is going to be a really great transition shade on anyone with a lighter skin tone look at runts how how gorgeous is runts Oh my goodness. Sometimes I feel like a dork when I'm editing these videos because it's basically just like 20 minutes of me freaking out over eyeshadow swatches. I hope that this is enjoyable for you guys too. Next up we have Sydney Grace Haven which is a beautiful kind of like light dusty purple and then we have Sydney Grace Below Zero which is such a beautiful like vibrant deep blue shade. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I need to do a smoky eye with it. Um, Haven, are you gonna show up on my arm? The shadow performs beautifully on the eyes, so... Hmm. Yeah, it's like not coming off of my arm. That's slightly frightening. Okay, let me swatch below zero right under it. And then I'll try to swatch that one with a brush. Okay, there we go. It's swatching worlds better with a brush. I just did not like my finger. 
Okay, there's Haven right there. It's still a very light shade. It's probably going to be best for you if you have a lighter skin tone, um, but it's a beautiful transition shade. All right, final two shadows in this palette. The first one is from Sydney Grace, and it's the shade Deliverer, which is look at how vibrant and beautiful this purple is like oh my goodness if this if i would have had this shadow at like the height of the norvina palette craze i would have like died and gone to heaven because i really wanted like that vibrant purple that was in the palette um and then menagerie blue tang which is a beautiful matte cobalt blue shadow so deliverer and blue tang oh yeah i love this palette you guys it can definitely it could be a spring palette but like I feel like this is a fall sunset right here. This is what I've been seeing in the sky and I just wanted to create a color story around it. So that's actually the last palette, you guys. I'll put those nicer swatches in right here so you guys can see a little bit better what the shadows look like up close. Um, but I had so much fun curating these palettes. You guys seem to really enjoy these videos, so I'm gonna keep making them. I'm planning on doing a Halloween one. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to squeeze out like three palettes on Halloween. I'm not really super into Halloween. You guys will probably never seen Halloween looks on my channel. Maybe on my Instagram page, but it's just not like something that I get super excited about. So maybe I'll do three. Probably, uh, probably at least two, but we'll see if I can squeeze through it on Halloween. As I said, I will link my summer and spring versions of this video down below if you guys would be interested in watching those. But that's going to wrap it up for me today. Thank you so much for tuning in and hanging out with me. I have so much fun in front of the camera with you guys. Like, I feel like I'm sitting down with my best friend that also loves makeup as much as I do, and it's just a blast for me. So thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch. Leave me a comment down below letting me know what your favorite singles are for fall. Like if you could pick out like two of your favorite singles for fall, let me know. Are they like super rich duochromes or multi-chromes or are they just like gorgeous rich matte shadows or are they something totally different? I'd love to chat it with you guys. I'd love to chat it with you guys. I'd love to chat about it with you guys down below. Obviously I need to be done filming. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.